Hello and welcome to Mile Eye Reefers. I'm Scott Anderson and today I'm going to talk about removing Aptasia. I got a couple of comments on my video I posted yesterday. Um, when I was showing off my tank I did have a little Aptasia and up until now I've always been using a calc Walter paste to kill off the Aptasia. And in case you don't know, Aptasia is really nasty in your tank because it will actually grow up next to your corals and sting it. And my little green mushroom, um, sorry, not a mushroom, toadstool, actually had a little Aptasia growing up next to him. I think that's why he's so upset with life right now. But I got some really good advice from some people on my ch that commented on my channel. So I'll, I'd like to read those now. Um, the first one was from Kendo Boston. He said to use a syringe with vinegar, not calc walser. Vinegar kills them instantly. And that's a really cool idea because if I can use the vinegar, I can just have a little syringe full of it under my tank and use it as needed. Um, that would be really cool because the calc walser I have to mix up every time. It's kind of a pain. And as you know, if it's hard to do, you probably won't do it. So um, if I could use the vinegar, I'd probably do it more often. So that's a pretty cool idea. Um, and Jason Montano, and forgive me if I mess up anybody's name, he said to use peppermint shrimp. Now I have one in here and I haven't had too much luck with them, but it is a pretty cool idea, and that's actually why I bought the peppermint shrimp I have. So I think next time I'm up my LFS, I'll go ahead and pick a couple up, um, maybe five, just to see how they do in there. Um, I do know with peppermint shrimp that they're kind of finicky on whether or not they'll eat the Aptasia. It can be species dependent, so they're really hit or miss on whether they'll do it. So, But I'm thinking if I throw a few more in, I might have a little better luck. But Let's take a look at this. I'm going to go ahead and try um, vinegar. I'm going to try the near boiling vinegar, as I've seen on the forums. A lot of people just say that works better. And I'm also going to put the calc walser in there so people can see what it does. So let's take a look and see how it all goes. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do for my experiment I'm going to use <clears throat> some white distilled vinegar, and I'm going to use the Kent Marine Kalkwaltzer. The white distilled vinegar I'm going to try just at room temperature and then I'm also going to stick it in the microwave and get it up near a boiling temperature and see how that works. <clears throat> the Kent Marine I am going to mix with a little bit of water until I get kind of a thin paste out of it and then I'll load both of them into this 5 mil syringe and I will inject the Aptasia through the oral disc and we'll see if there's much difference. I'm really hoping the distilled vinegar actually works really well. Um, that just make my life a lot easier. And I want it to work well at room temperature, so here's crossing my fingers. So I'm gonna go ahead and try the distilled vinegar first, and we'll go to the tank and see how it goes. And the first test will be at room temperature. <clears throat> All right, so here is the white distilled vinegar that's just room temperature. So we're going to try to hit this guy through the oral disc, which is easier said than done working from the top of the tank. And we'll inject him. And it's really hard to see, but I can see a lot of bubbles coming out of there. In fact, I think I hate to do this with the tripod, but I want everybody to kind of see what's going on. You can see the one next to him, but he appears to be just completely gone. I'm not sure if he's just pulled in under that rock or if something actually happened to him. So that could be really cool. Um, while we're here, let's give another shot to this guy in the back. And maybe you'll get a better view of how this actually works, if it works. So one of the things you may have noticed is they're kind of hard to hit. The other concern I have is how quickly that vinegar dissipates into the water column. With the calc waltzer, that doesn't seem to happen. So I'm going to load up the calc waltzer and we'll try and we'll come back and see these guys 
open up. All right, so I was just getting ready to do my experiment, and lo and behold, my peppermint shrimp appeared. I haven't seen him in days. I knew he was around, but he's right out where that aptasia was, and I didn't see him come out or exactly what he was doing, but I wonder if he ate that aptasia that was sitting right there. Um, no way to be certain, but he definitely came out pretty cool. That's another thing that's supposed to eat Aptasia. Either I have too many for one shrimp or he hasn't been doing it. Not sure which. All right, so here's an Aptasia. And we're going to try this guy with the Kalkwaltzer. And we'll see how he does. Um, so all I did was I mixed the Kalkwaltzer with some water till I got a decent little paste. Of course my phone's got to go off now. And I inject him and the thing I like about it is you can see that it leaves that white on top of it and kind of burns him while he's there. Um, the other thing is you can see where the vinegar dissipates instantly into the water column and this doesn't. And again, sorry about the phone, but yeah. So it would appear both methods work, but before we make the final decision, I want to keep my eye on those other two, and I want to try the boiling vinegar. Okay, so last but not least, I'm doing the near boiling vinegar. And I say near boiling because for obvious reasons, I don't want it boiling inside of this. And I apologize for the video quality. I just can't zoom in close enough for you to really see what's going on. There's one there. Another guy back here. Another one there. And it, what I'm seeing is, as soon as I squirt, the vinegar just goes off into the water column. And with the calc, it stays right on the anemone. Which is really nice, because it's, especially these little guys, you can't really get them in their oral disc. So it's kind of nice to be able to put the calc paste on top of them and let it burn them. And the temperature of the water really brings down this um, thermostat, the temp in here real quick so we don't stay boiling very long. So that's another problem but all in all it does seem to have an effect on them. It definitely works at least a little bit. Um, long term, will it work better than the calc? I'm not sure. Just by the results I'm seeing here, they're definitely pulling back a lot more. One of the differences is these are little guys, where the first ones I was starting with were big ones. And I could really see this vinegar working a lot better on a big one where I could really get in and inject them. The other thing is I don't want to put too much of this in the water column because I'm afraid of how it's going to affect the pH. So, that was... Um, about a milliliter I just put in there and I think that's about all I want to do. Alright, so it's been about 20 minutes and you can see this first Aptasia that I hit with the vinegar is kind of popping out. The second one I did is still non-existent, so that's pretty cool. Um, not sure what's going on, but by injecting these guys it really brought the um, peppermint shrimp out, so I wonder if he's not developing a taste for these guys. I hope he is. That would make my life a lot better. All right. So conclusions. Um, the vinegar does work. Um, I think for me, the vinegar probably works better on the bigger aptasia that are easier to get the needle down the oral disc and really fill them up with the solution. I found on the smaller aptasia that the um, vinegar just kind of sprayed out and it's really hard to stab them and get the vinegar inside of them. So that was the downfall of the vinegar. The other downfall I saw of the vinegar was it was really easy to accidentally put a lot out there and I really don't want to put a lot of vinegar in my tank because that will affect um, pH and stuff like that. So any of this, um, either the vinegar or the calc walter, if you decide to do it, I wouldn't do more than maybe five or ten an enemy a day just because um, you want to keep your tank levels and parameters stable. Um, I didn't see a lot of difference with the boiling vinegar. I think what was actually going on is as soon as I stick that um, syringe in the tank, the temperature, 
of the vinegar is just plummeting. Um, and I think that's the big issue is I'm going from, I'm guessing 210 degrees because I let it boil and then I just let it kind of come right off of boiling so it wasn't boiling inside the syringe. And then um, I suck it in there and I think the 80 degree temperature of my tank is really zapping the temperature inside that syringe. So I think that's why I didn't see a lot of difference. Um, and then the calc welter worked really well for me. The calc is what I've been using for years. Basically, I just mix a little water with um, a little bit of calc until I have a thin paste and then load it into the back of the syringe and then go through and stab them all and inject. The nice thing about the calc is it leaves a little bit of paste behind to kind of burn the anemone um, to the ground afterwards. And if you miss the oral disc and stuff, it's not the worst thing in the world because there's still some on the outside to irritate it and kill it. Um, the downfall with the calc I'm noticing is when you're in more of an open space, the calc um, tends to blow around in the water column. And that's really bad because I really don't want the calc to get into my corals. I don't like that idea of my polyps feeding on calc. I mean, calc is really nasty to these guys. So that's the downside I'm seeing with the calc. So neither one's perfect. Um, there's some other interesting things I've seen. There's the Aptasia X, which might be better than both. I don't know. Never tried it. And then I've seen the videos of the laser, which sounds like the coolest one to me. You just set up outside and zap them. So I'd like to try that. Um, don't know if I will or not, but pretty cool. Um, for me, I think for the time being, I'll probably stick with the calc just because it seems like it was a little more effective on the smaller guys. Um, but yeah, both meses work. Kind of cool. So thanks for watching this episode of Mile High Reefers. Thanks to the comments. It inspired this video. Um, and hopefully we gain something by watching it. So thanks for watching. If you like what I do, please hit the subscribe button.